In this video, we are going to understand how to transcribe YouTube video to text PDF docs automatically. So here our objective is every time a new video is uploaded in my YouTube channel, then automatically with the help of Happy Scribe, I want to first create the transcription, then create and retrieve the export and then finally the link that I have received. So I want to upload the file in my Google Drive. How can that happen? For this, I'll be integrating these applications and and to do this, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be YouTube, then my action applications will be Happy Scribe and Google Drive. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here we have reached the landing page. On the right hand side, we have the options to sign in or sign up. Since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. And these are the various products of Pabli. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that, we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Here my objective is that every time a new video is uploaded on YouTube, then automatically with the help of Happy Scribe, the transcription should be created and should be created as a PDF document. So I'm going to name it as transcribe YouTube video to text PDF or docs. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application is going to be the video so it is youtube let's click on this and the trigger event here will be new video in channel with video url now i'm going to click on connect so here i have already logged into my youtube account i'm going to select add new connection connect with youtube so here we have to select the account so once this is done here you can see public connect videos wants additional access to my google account so this is absolutely secure i'm going to click on continue and as i do that you can see authorization has been successful next is the channel id so here let me show you my youtube account so the channel id is here demo so this is demo channel so it has already been captured by the system now i'm going to click on save and send test request and as i do that the last video that was uploaded there i have received the details so this here was the last video that was uploaded the name was pabli connect integration so here you can see this here is the video url then as i take you down this is the title pabli connect integration here we have the description integration video then we have got the details this here is the name of the channel now, once I have received this information, I want to create the transcription. For this, I'm going to choose my action application as Happy Scribe. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create transcription. Let's click on connect. As we do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Happy Scribe account. Now, I'm going to select add new connection. To set up this connection, we need the API key and the organization ID. So I have already logged into my Happy Scribe account. Let me take you there. So this here is my Happy Scribe account. Let's go to the workspace. Here you can see settings. Now within settings, let's go to API. So this here is my API key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Public Connect, and here I'm going to paste the same. Now here it is written that you have to enter your API key with prefix bearer. So I'm going to write that with a space. Next we need the organization ID. So here we have the organization ID. So I'm going to again copy this. Go back to public connect and paste this over here without the full stop. Let's click on save to set up this connection. And we can see that happy scribe and public connect are now connected. Next is the transcription name. So here I'm going to use the name of the video as the name of the transcription. Now to do this, to enter the information, I'm going to map it. How? So you can see the previous step. Let's click on this. And as I take you down, this here is the title. So I have added the transcription name and the method with which I have added this information is known as mapping. Now this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration.
Had I written the same information manually, then even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it would not have taken the new data. Instead, it would have got stuck with the manual written data. That's why to avoid that, we mapped the information. Now here we have to enter the language. So as I click on this hyperlink here, so here we can see, I'm going to look for English, India. So let's go down and here you can see, okay, so this is English and for India it is this. This here is the code. So I'm going to copy this, go back to public connect, paste the same here. Then we have got the media URL. So I'm going to click on this, go to step one and select this video URL. Okay, then workspace name. So let's go to happy scribe. I'm going to cancel this. What is the name of the workspace? So I have created a workspace. The name is demo workspace. So here I'm going to mention the same. Then do you need subtitles? So I'm going to select true. Let's click on save and send test request. So as I do that here, we have received the response. Now, once we have received this response with the ID, the name created, updated and other details, what is my objective? Now I want to create an export. So I'm again going to select action step. And here I'm again going to use the application as happy scribe. Let's click on this. And this time the action event would be create export, which means it creates a new export. Let's click on this and click on connect. So here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And as I do that, now here we have to enter this information. First of all, format. So I'm going to select PDF. Then we have the transcription. So here we need the ID. So first I'm going to turn on this mapping button and now I'm going to delete this and map the ID by going to step two. And this here is the ID. So once added here, do you want to show timestamps? I have selected true. Do you want to show the speakers? Yes. Show comments? Yes. Show highlights? Yes. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here we can see we have received the response. Now here we can see that the status is shown as pending. Why? Because this process is taking some time to get the transcription. So I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is delay. So I'm going to delay my workflow. Let's click on this. And now here it is asking how much delay you want to put in your workflow. So I'm going to use delay fall, then delay unit minutes. How many minutes? So I'm going to choose five minutes. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that our entire workflow has been successfully delayed for five minutes. Next, what do I want? I already have created this export. Now I want to retrieve this export. So again, my action application here will be happy scribe. And the action event here would be to retrieve an export. So we are going to retrieve the export by ID. Let's click on connect and go ahead with the existing connection. And here we have to enter the export ID. So again, I'm going to go to step three and this here is the ID. Let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received response. This time the status is ready. The format is PDF. Now here we can see for timestamps, speakers, comments and highlights, it is showing as one, which means we had said yes for this. Now then we have the transcription ID and the downloadable link. Now this is the link where we have all our transcripts. So I'm going to show you the same by opening this in a new tab over here. So this is the file. And yes, you can see that the file has been created along with the timestamp. Okay, now once we have received this information, what is my final objective? I already have my Google Drive account. So here you can see I have created a folder transcriptions. Within this, there's a subfolder YouTube's transcriptions. And now I want to add the file here. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to add my final action step, which is Google Drive. So this is the application. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to upload a file. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with the Google Drive account. Let's select add new connection, sign in with Google. Here we have to choose the account. Once we have chosen the account, then here Pabli Connect Drive wants to access my Google account. Let's click on allow. So here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Once this is done, now we have to map this information. First of all, the URL for this, I'm going to click on this. Go to step five here and here we have the downloadable link. Then we have to enter the folder ID. For this, let me take you to my drive 
and here for YouTube transcriptions, this here is the ID. So I'm going to copy this till the slash. Once done, let's go back to Public Connect, paste this ID over here. And then we have to enter the file name. So I'm going to go ahead with Public Connect integration. And here we are asked to include the file extension with the file name. So here I'm going to add PDF. Okay, once done, let's click on Save and Send Test Request. So as we do that here, we have received the response. Now I'm going to take you back to my drive. And yes, you can see that I have received a file here and this here is the information. So this means that our integration is a complete success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to YouTube and here I want to upload another video. Let's select files and now I'm going to take you down and here let's say this particular file is to be added. New integration description is all about integration. Okay, then I'm going to click on allow. So no, it is not made for kids. Let's click on next again. Next here we have the option to make this video private, unlisted or public. I have selected public. Let's click on publish. So here we can see that this is all done. Now I'm going to close this. And the moment this is done, what should happen? After a certain time period, automatically a document should be created along with the transcription. Now it's been some time and here we can see that another PDF document has been created, which means that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect and let's quickly understand what we had done. So here our trigger application was YouTube where the event was new video in channel with video URL. Post that our action application was happy scribe where first we had created a transcription then created export then we had delayed our workflow for five minutes and then we had retrieved the export and finally we had uploaded the file in Google Drive. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.